So I'm going with Ha Te Chang and then um, we're going to shoot to Blenheim. So Marcel's going to just bring the truck to where I teach from and we're going to hook the car up to the A-frame there. So the car's been fixed a while back. Um, it wouldn't slip into its neutral mode so we could tow it. So Marcel took it to the Auto Sparky and he fixed it. So we'll be using the A-frame again finally. Last time we went away we couldn't take the car, we just took the truck. And it'll be good to have the car while we're in Blenheim. Yeah, so um, you know how we thought that Zippy wasn't going into, four drive, into neutral from four drive setting properly? And I thought the car was broken. Yeah, it was just brain fart going on inside my head. I was doing it completely wrong. So now I'm doing it right and we have Zippy on the bank. Oh, whoopsies! <laughs> oh well, what can you do, eh? You live and learn these things. I even said to him before we went to Hanma that day, are you sure you're not just doing something in the wrong order or something? <laughs> anyway, it's all good now. So a while back I put up a new stereo to the house part of the truck so the kids can jam to their own music while we're travelling. Yeah. How's it working out, kids? Yeah. Is it working sweet? Yeah. So we've got our sounds in the front and the kids have got their own sounds in the back through the iPad through Bluetooth. It's pretty sweet, eh? Yeah. yeah. So we headed to Blenheim as Marcel and I both needed to get our eyes checked and Elijah had some birthday money that he wanted to spend. It was a beautiful evening for travelling. Breakfast, please. Breakfast. <laughs> that was an interesting dance. Should we go for a walk, Diesel? No. So yeah, we parked here last night right at the entrance to the Waterloo Race Course. And um, <laughs> parked in the grass, not realising it had been freshly mowed and we're just getting grass all over us, taking it into the track with us, which isn't so fun. We did go right into the um where we usually park but um <clears throat> there was a caravan kind of if we'd parked where we wanted to park we would have blocked them in so we came back to the entrance it's just easy to get in and out of here this is the entrance right here so it's really nice here pollard park is just a short walk through the golf course just here yeah i love pollard park I used to spend a lot of time there growing up and when i used to come to blenheim once a week for piano lessons did that for eight years so mum and I would often go to Pollard Park eat our dinner or lunch or whatever so the Waterloo race course is normally $10 a night per vehicle but we just got here last night and found out it's gone up to 15 which is still good but yeah we're not staying here tomorrow night we are going out to the um the Wairau Diversion should be really nice out there I'd actually quite like to jump in the car and go for a drive to Whites Bay might see if Marcel and the kids are keen to do that today or tomorrow morning. Back to the track. I want my coffee. Marcel's just done a challenge of um, a week without coffee to prove to someone that he's not a coffee addict. <laughs> and he's just like, I'm having a coffee this morning with my wife to the guy. So that's what he's doing, making me a coffee as we speak. Yay! He's also just started a new job at a cafe in town called Bee Box. So he's just doing a trial for two weeks and then um, seeing how he goes. So I think he's doing Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the other job. How about your feet? Wipe your feet. <laughs> just wait. After I had my eye exam, the kids and I went to Seymour Square and had a look around while we waited for Marcel to finish his. Okay, so we have decided not to go to the diversion, the Waira diversion now, because uh, Marcel forgot his fishing line. And that was the whole point. It would be nice to camp there, but we need to do our groceries and we might as well just stay um, in town to do all that tonight. So we went swimming at the um, aquatic centre here. It was really nice. 
kids loved it. They had a lazy river too, which was fun. Marcel and I went and got our eyes checked at Specsavers. 30 bucks for an eye test with the NZMCA discount, half price. I've been just getting worse and worse with reading and stuff, so I need plus 1.25s, but I just bought some real cheap $2 ones. <laughs> and you need a prescription to update your prescription, yeah? Yeah, it's just shocked I haven't been in for 20 years to get them checked out and uh, found out I shouldn't really be driving. But <laughs> oh, no. not, not that I can't see, it's just the, the like road signs and stuff like that I struggle with. But So you pick up your glasses in two weeks, eh? So yeah, $368 later. Yeah. I might be able to spell now too, now I can see. <laughs> Bonus. <Yeah. laughs> oh, the track is blinding. I need my sunglasses on. <laughs> Better. Ah! Wow. Struggles are real, man. Well, we went swimming. I've got to hang up the towels. <laughs> Struggles are real. Elijah spent his birthday money on more Lego and was stoked with what he got. Yeah, so I went um, to the Save Mart to see if I could find some of the clothes we need before going to the dearer shops um, and I found a pair of Converse shoes because I was like I need new shoes for summer and um, they were like 25 bucks for a second hand pair of shoes so I didn't get them and I've gone and looked at other shoe shops but I just can't find any I like but crazy my shoes actually broke the day I am looking for some shoes so yeah they they gone deady bye byes so I think we need to um, clip diesel starting to molt like everywhere yeah so he's gonna need a clip for summer or just for the hotter weather otherwise it's just really gross in the truck <laughs> boo boo yeah. come here please yeah. could you just put all this stuff away huh yeah. do you want to wear it Between someone's sweaty toes. You know that smell when you clean between your toes and your fingers stink? It's that. Oh. Tony Stark? Iron Man. <laughs> so we've just done a heap of shopping. Clothes for summer. For the summer, not summer. She did get some clothes though. And yeah, we're going to go um, for a drive in the car to Whites Bay, just leave the truck here, go to Whites Bay. Um, Marcel and the kids have never been there. I've been there once. Then we're going to um, pack up the truck and head back to Kokoda. It's a really beautiful day today. I think we've learned our lesson. We won't be parking in the grass like this again, because that is just um, all come into the truck. <laughs> so Diesel's been out for his walk. And he's got to get back in the truck because he can't come to White Spot. It's a dock camp. Come on, Diesel. Inside the truck. Not the car, the truck. Up here. Good boy. Did they? But you can bring your socks. Yeah. yeah. 
Knights Bay is very close to Blenheim and it is a beautiful place. Marcel wants to bring Beast over sometime and reckons we would get in. It was good to check out the tight corners and make sure that there were no low trees as Beast is almost 4 metres high. We had a chat to a family that were camping there in their 11 metre house bus. They said that they had no trouble getting in so we should be okay with our 12 metre house truck. And it is beautiful out here. Summer came up but she said she slipped a little so she wanted to go back down. If it looks a bit bumpy it's because I'm caught I mean up these really weird stairs. <sighs> haven't been up here before. Actually, first of all I haven't been to this beach before. While we were driving up here, we could see on um, the North Island. <gasps> yeah. awesome. I made it! Yep. It's beautiful up here. I should go back down. Well, I don't have to, but I want to, so. Bye. So. I was just up there. Go! <laughs> Get right in, Summer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see some abs. So I am so scared of heights <laughs> and that was so high, <laughs> like bleh. GoPro doesn't do it justice. So that was an awesome time out at White Spade this afternoon and we're just getting ready now to head back to Kaikoura. drive back to Kaikoura, apart from a truck driver who was travelling way too close behind us. Marcel sat on the horn and thankfully the truck driver backed off. So if you've made it this far into the video, thanks heaps and you're in for a bit of a funny at the end of this one. Okay, so we have arrived at the Kaikoura Old Beach Road in ZMCA Park. So yeah, we thought we'd just stay here one night. We've got church in the morning and it's just a short walk down the road. And then we're going to a friend's place for lunch after church. So we might as well just park up here and then head out to Hapuku tomorrow. Our pantry, one of them slid out while we were traveling, which wasn't so cool, but the kids sorted that out. We had this drawer fall out on the way up to Blenheim. So we went back to jamming it with the chair and the stool and a cushion to keep it in there. So a few things to fix, some of the window surrounds are coming off, this one, that one, it's actually falling down now. And then Marcel noticed today that the door surround's coming off too, so I think there's some repairs going to have to go on. Anyway, just is what it is, house maintenance. Oh yeah, um, I almost forgot, we stumbled across another majestic creature. You know the one that we found at Lake Rotoedi when we were in the Nelson Lakes? Well, there was another one at White's Bay, so they must be um, saltwater creatures too, not just freshwater. So we thought we'd leave the cool footage we got of it here at the end for you.
Thank you so much for watching our family's adventures. If you enjoy our content, please make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.